find it vibrant soap. Hopefully you saw the video on the reveal of the remodel and the new soap room so that I don't have to explain again why I've been gone so long. Oh my gosh, I'm glad to be back. But uh, it's been a lot of work and a lot of family stuff going on and um, things are more settled now so I can't wait to get back into all the soap making and everything. So today I'm going to be making a remake of a soap called Lotus Position. But do you know me, I want to always play it up and change it around a little bit. So I'm going to add some swirls to this. And also messing with the colors a little bit. I almost could have renamed the soap. But there is a little bit of the original design left in the soap that I'm going to keep it as. Uh, Lotus Position. I like the name too. So anyway, let's get started. I have a color tutorial and um, glad to be back again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so it's time to talk about um, some color nuance. And you know, I've shown you some things on the color wheel. Um, but there are some subtle changes you can make to your color schemes once you've identified them to make them a little more sophisticated because they're not as common. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a triadic color scheme. Triadic, as it sounds, it are um, colors that are uh, form an equilateral triangle on the color wheel. So I'm looking at green, orange, and purple. And so you can see this triangle right there like that. But, you know, you can take a pure green, a pure orange, and a pure purple and make a be beautiful soap. And that one, that particular combination ends up looking like um, Carnival, uh, Mardi Gras. It's got those colors to it. But I'm going to change that up a little bit. Um, my brand for my company is Vibrant, but sometimes I do take away some of the colors vibrancy so that another color can take over and be the star of the show. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So rather than using a pure green, I'm going to take a green with some white, in other words, a pastel version, and put that right there to show you. So that's that's not a pure green, although it might look that way on camera to show you what it really looks like without being a pastel. I'll put a little dab of the green right there. See, it's quite lighter. So definitely the green is not going to be the star of the show. Um, then I'm going to show you what I do with this orange. So there's a more of a pure orange, but it's a bit bright and I don't want it to be the star of the show, so I'm going to mix with its opposite. And um, so I'm going to take a little dab of blue, and when you mix these colors with their opposites, you tone down the both colors. So you can see that it's no longer orange. I don't want to mix any more blue in it because I don't want to brown either. I just wanted to take some of the vibrancy out of that orange. But the real star of the show, I want to be a deep purple. And I'm not satisfied with that even, so I'm kind of altering the colors in the triad that identif I identified. I want it darker because I want it to be the color that um, gives the punch in the soap. So I'm going to add just a bit of black to make it what we call a shade of that color. It's still purple, so I have to make sure I don't put too much black in it. And that's going to be the colors that I use in this redo of my soap called Lotus Position and I'm going to swirl it more than I have in the past to um, with a bit of a hanger swirl as well. I want to make it look like it's blooming. So that's the color tutorial today which again is basically a triad. There's the triangle but I toned down the orange by mixing its complement which is blue I made the green a bit of a pastel by adding white to it and then I darkened the purple with a little bit of black plaque. So uh, let's see how that works in my soap. You never know until you try it. Okay, let's blend the oils and milks clays together first a little bit. Okay, let's emulsify the fine silk. That's about 100 degrees also. Okay. 
Okay, that's emulsified already. Okay, so I poured my batter into my purple orange green. And the rest I want white. Okay, I may as well get my fragrance in there while I'm mixing it up so I don't overmix it. And a little bit in those as well. white all over the bottom. So I'm just going to pour in the center part of this divider and lift these up so that the bottom is all filled evenly. I think you can see better that way. And then I'm going to add my orange. I wanted a symmetric design, just stirring my orange a little bit, and the orange is going to go on either side. And then I'm going to add some more white on the sides over the orange. Then the green goes in the middle. Put some more white in the middle. Stir that up. It's rising a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. Purple. I want to sort of abstractly simulate the purple lotus blossom floating on the top of this. More white in the middle. And let's see. I'm out of color, so let me pull these out. And I'm going to do swirls to the right and then swirls to the left. I think you'll see. I'm on the right side now and I'm going to go clockwise and just spiral. Just have some fun doing that. And then do the same thing but going this way on this side. Pull that up. And do some scraping. You can see what that blue did to the orange. The trick is really knowing how much blue to put in without really making this brown instead of orange. Just a few drops will work. This is a floral, but I learned from the last time that it really didn't accelerate much, so that always makes us super happy. And just a splattering of purple on top. When I come back to soaping after a long break, I always make a mess because I kind of like forget how to be neat. So let's pound this down. Give this a good swirl. First let me clean up the sides. Okay, and I want to remember the design inside, so I'm going to do a symmetrical swirl on this too. I'm going to swirl to the right 
on the top here. Scroll to the left this way. Okay, so I think you can see the colors that I wanted, this little green and a sort of burnt, um, less intense orange, but the purple is dark and uh, um, vibrant. So we'll see how this is when we cut it. Interesting. See there's some white on top. I forgot that I had some leftover white after I stopped videoing the making of. So I just dumped that on top. So there's the creamy green, the pastel green, and then there's the darker purple that looks like it's going to morph, and then there's the orange that's been toned down a little bit. And I really am happy now that I look at that, that sometimes um, the orange is just so bright, that's all you can see. So this one I think I... Like, I like that it's a pretty symmetric pour in that it's framed with the purple and then you get the green and then you get the orange. And that's kind of what I wanted for lotus position. And it's scented with nature's gardens. Um, lotus blossom. These will cure for about four weeks, maybe five, and then I will wrap them and label them. And I'll be cutting right after this. The um, I'm making smaller versions of the same soap now to put in a uh, combination box with smaller bits of soap as well five or six different types of soap in that box and they have that's nice I think I'll leave you on this one before I go to cutting the smaller size one okay so I've been making smaller versions of a lot of my soaps and I put them in a combo box and unfor unfortunately they're not really ready to send by mail but I do sell the boxes at events in San Diego when I get the chance and they've been really popular so I try to color them similarly to the bigger version but the swirl is a little bit different because I'm making it in the tall and skinny mold hopefully it's still interesting to look at. You can see that I maintain that pastel green and the shade of purple. Shades are what we get when we mix a color with black. And my muted down orange that I muted down with some blue. Because otherwise that orange would be so almost fluorescent and I didn't really want that in this particular soap. So let's take a closer look at that and we'll see you next time. This is Clyde at Vibrant Soap. Thanks again for watching and my gosh, thanks for all the comments. I really appreciate it and thanks for subscribing and we'll hopefully get another video up really soon. Bye now.